This is where you can set the default sender address for your shippings. Here, you're going to enter the name, the company, the email address, and the phone number. And you can use the store address that you have saved in WooCommerce settings, or you can enter a different address here. Once you complete all this information, you can save options and then move on to shipping rates. Here you have the option to validate products weight and dimensions. By validating the products, you can check if all your products have the information needed or if you need to fix something for live shipping rates to work. You can just click here to validate your products. Now the second option, manage shipping rates according to shipping zones, lets you choose if you want to manage the shipping rates according to different shipping zones. If you enable this option, you can set different shipping costs or carriers for specific countries. For example, you can have free shipping and use UPS for national shippings, but then charge $25 for shippings and use DHL for international shippings and so on. Keep in mind the shipping zones have to be created first in WooCommerce shipping options, shipping rates. By enabling this option, you're going to get other advanced options like creating shipping rate rules, adding several senders and more. So I'm going to save this option for now, go back to the sender info again, and now, because I have just enabled the option to manage shipping rates according to different shipping zones, I have the option to add another sender right here. So it's not going to be just one, I can add multiple senders. And if I click here, I'm going to be able to enter the name, the company, email, the same information we saw before, use the store address saved in WooCommerce, or add a different address, choose a country. Let's enter another sender. We're going to create a sender in Canada to deliver to Canada alone. Here we have the shipping zones I have configured in WooCommerce settings. Add sender, there we go. And you can choose if you want to set this address as default or keep this one. You can do this for every sender you add. Let's go back to shipping rates. Okay, so the third option is show live shipping rates on card and checkout pages. By enabling this option, you're going to get all of these options. You're going to be able to choose to calculate shipping rates on card and checkout or only on checkout. You'll be able to request insurance and request signature. If you enable these options, you'll show the shipping services in which insurance and signature are available. Then you have the option to limit rates to show. If you enable this option, you can set, for example, three maximum rates to show. Then you have the option to filter rates according to their cost. You can enable this option if you want to set a minimum or a maximum cost for the shipping rates to show. For example, if I leave minimum cost empty or enter zero and then set a maximum cost of $15, then the other services that go above $15 will be hidden. And then you have the option to show the delivery time. You can enable this option to show the estimated delivery time to your customers. Save options. 